Blessings, blessings, blessings. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dion Walls Hedrington, and I am a member of the Purposeful, Prayerful, Passionate Women's Group. And I'm here to share the good news of the gospel of the Lord. I am here to just be that person that shares the, the word of God and inspires and encourages you to seek out a relationship with the Father. Because a relationship with the Father is just what all of us need. It's just what we all need to set us on the right track. So today's scripture reading is taken from Matthew 11, chapter 28. Come to me all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to me. See, God is calling us home. God is calling his children back to his kingdom. God is calling all of us to have a relationship with him. Come to me. He is calling you. Come to me. Come to me, all of you who are weary. Listen, living in this world makes all of us weary. If you haven't had an experience where you just felt tired, tired of, of, of the job, tired of the circumstances in your family, tired about relationships, we have all been weary in this world just by, just by merely living and surviving. He says, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden. What's heavy laden? Those things that just weigh on top of your shoulders. Life, bills, children, spouses, jobs. Anything that keeps you weighted down is a heavy laden. The Lord is saying to us, come, all of you who are tired, who have things weighting you down. And I, the Lord, I will give you rest. You know what God put on my heart this morning is he's, he's speaking to a lot of you. He's speaking to a lot of you and asking you to come. He's asking you to seek him first. He's asking you to cast your cares on him. He's asking to help you. He's telling you what you need to do and yet we are not doing it. And you're wondering why you are walking around this place with a burden on your back. You are walking around here not happy, not free. Listen, we have become so used to putting on fronts. We have become so used to pretending that it's second nature to us now. We walk around here and we act like all is well. Hey, I was, I was an A student in that. All is well. I have everything going for me. You creating this picture uh, that is so far from the truth because inside you have all of these things that are weighing you down. And our Father is asking you to come, come to me, come to me. Let me put things in place for you. Come to me. Let me help you. To get through these challenges come to me my children i remember growing up as a child and i'm an only girl so you know what i mean right my father would do anything absolutely my earthly father will do anything for me just like my heavenly father will do anything for me and if something happened and i needed my father i would run to him and say daddy 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 i need xyz see that's what our father abba father is what he wants us to say to him our father is ready to help us. Our heavenly father is ready to set things straight. He's ready to make every crooked path straight. He is ready to fix this situation on your behalf. But you have to come to him. 
Do you know that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us? Do you know that Christ is our source? Do you know that greater is he who lives in me than anybody in this world? Do you know that the Lord will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus? So why won't you come? What is blocking you from coming? What is blocking you from being at rest? From being at peace with the only person that can give you peace? Let me tell you something. When you live in this world, you've tried everything of this world. And if you are in this world today and you still don't have peace, the world isn't doing it for you. I tried. I tried. I put my trust and my faith in man. I tried. I tried to conform to this world. I tried. But now I'm transformed into a new being with Jesus who lives in me. And if I were to compare the two, I stick in with team Jesus because I know how I feel. I know what he's done for me. And I know what his word says that he will continue to do for me on my behalf. So I just abide. I just, I just live in this world. But I abide in the spirit. And I know for some of you that's hard to understand. What it means is his will. His way, his desires. It's not about me anymore. I've learned how to surrender all to the Father and let him do what he needs to do from it within me. So when I say that I am his vessel, when I say that my lips are anointed to speak his word, they are. What comes out of me is what the Father wants me to share with you. So 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, Cast your cares on him because he cares for us. And when you cast your cares on the Lord, you leave them there. We used to say this thing growing up, and I've heard my mother say it. I've heard many other elders in the community say, I rest so and so at the foot of the cross. That's like casting your cares. You know, when people wrong you, when people do evil things to you, it is not your job to go back and try to do an eye for an eye um, concept with them. That's not your place. What you do is you take them to the Lord in prayer. You cast your cares on him. You tell them exactly what they did to you. And you ask him to intervene on your behalf. And when you do that, you let him do his thing. You don't get involved. You don't try to take it back up and try to do it on your own free will. It doesn't work like that. And usually when we do stuff like that, we create a muck. That we have to go back to the Father again to ask him to clean up. So cast your cares on him because he cares for you. He wants to help you. Our Father um, allowed his son, his only begotten son, to pay the ultimate sacrifice for us. And people still wonder if he cares. How many of you would give up your earthly children for us, for everybody else. That's a great sacrifice that he gave for us so that by Jesus' stripes, we are healed and we are delivered. So he has already proven that he loves and he cares for us. But all he asks is that we come to him. Come to me. Come to me. When you put God first in your life, you would see things change. It's, it's, you're going to see him strip some things off of you. And it's going to require a lot of faith, a lot of trust, and obedience. Remember, Jesus is the author and finish of our faith, right? Jesus is the author and the omega. He's the beginning and the end. So Jesus already knows what our destiny is. He already um, you know, knows the plans and purpose that he has for us. So when you put your trust in Jesus and you put your faith in the word and in God and what the word said that he would do, you enter into that realm 
that spirit realm where your soul is at peace and I remember as a child going to funerals and you know they would sing this song it is well it is well with my soul it is today that I can tell you it is well with my soul and that's only because I went to God I came to God and I asked him to help me I lay it all out I lay out all my sins it was a lot of them you know it was a lot of them I had to repent for but I lay them all out I let them out and I said, Father God, I need you to forgive me for what I have done. And I repented and I made a pledge to do my very, very, very best not to end up sinning in those ways ever again. Remember, this is a walk of sacrifice this is a walk of commitment this is a walk of obedience to the father this is a walk which is progress you don't get there i don't know if we'll ever get to where we are completely christ-like but that is our goal. And so when you have a goal, when you set a goal for yourself, you do whatever you need to do to get to that goal. So my goal, that goal that I've set for myself when it comes to the kingdom work is to live Christ's life. And I do fall short. I fall short. I ask for forgiveness and I try again. I don't give up. I don't put, put my father on the side. I don't care what's happening in my world. I know that my father walks before me. He walks beside me and he walks behind me. He got my back. He got every aspect of me. So I just keep focused on him, focused on the work, focused on whatever his desires are, focused on his will for my life focused on anything that he needs me to do. The Father has sent people to me for me to bless. The Father has sent people to me for me to pray for. Sometimes I will be in his presence and he would download some information for me, a word for somebody, I will send it. Sometimes I will be in prayer and he would say, lift this person up and I pray for people. See, my job is to bless others. My job is to share the good news of the Father. My job is to help you establish that relationship with the Father. So come. Don't be afraid. If you're afraid, call me. If you don't have my number, it's 2446906340. 2446906. Two, Call me if you need to talk. Call me if you need to pray. Call me if you just need a word of encouragement. Because it's about helping you to reach and have exactly what I'm experiencing in the presence of the Lord. Abide in Him. John 15, 4 says, Abide in me and I in you. As, a, as a, a branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides on a vine, you cannot prosper in this life without Jesus. You cannot prosper in this life without Jesus. You could go ahead and you could continue to pretend all you want. You cannot abide in this world without Jesus. So seek him first, the kingdom of God and its righteousness and let everything be added to you. So Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the fact that we have 
breath. We thank you for the fact that we have an opportunity to change course in our lives. We thank you that you always are there for us. You always call us, Father God. You always look out for us. Thank you, Father, for your grace and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for always being our refuge and our fortress. Thank you, God, for being constant in our lives. And today, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we say to you, have your way. Let your will be done. Let your desires known. Use us, Lord, to further your kingdom, Father God. We are coming home. We are coming to you now in the name of Jesus. We are coming to abide in you, with you, Father God. We are casting every care upon you today, Father God, never to pick it up again, but to stay focused on that goal, which is to live Christ-like. And so, Father God, we rededicate ourselves. We reconsecrate ourselves today in you, Father God. Have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Have a blessed, blessed day in the presence of the Lord.